Here is a video, going to be a longer style video of everything that I've done to my YZ250 to make it be the best bike I have in the shop. So, this is my official second bike that I got. My very first bike back there is the RM85. Awesome bike. I was just way too big for it. You know, it was great for starting on, but yeah, I was just a little bit too big for that bike. But now I'm on to this YZ250, which I love. The power band is actually a lot smoother than that one. It has a fresh top end and crank when I bought it. I purchased it for 1600 I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Now, I didn't have to do much to it because this guy already did all the work he got. He put on new plastics. He put on new tires. He got new rims for it. Redid all the brakes. Rebuilt the whole motor. Um, redid the suspension. This one's got newer forks off of like a 2014 Kawasaki. He put a KTM carburetor on it, 2014 Kihin 36mm carburetor on there. He uh, put the exhaust pipe on there. It's got an FMF shorty and a gold series fatty pipe on there. And he also put those uh, works connection frame guards. I'm going to move over to the other side. Overall, it looks pretty good. You know, it's got the disc, um, the, the protection right there for your uh, lines and everything that go into your brakes. And he put a new chain and sprockets on it. And he put a rear disc guard on there. Definitely something that you want to have for sure. And here's what I did. All I did was I put EKS grips on it. Pretty much they're just the cheapest grips at my Let's Ride dealer. I got this Woody's trail stand right there. So I could have something to lean it on so I don't always have to put it onto a stand. Because I'm 15, it's kind of, I don't want to have to lift this thing onto a stand after every ride. <laughs> I've replaced this uh, front fender. Now, he did have all new plastics. That front fender over there is brand new. But I wanted to give this thing a nice, modern, aggressive look by putting on this 2021 front fender. I got this Renthal handlebar pad because it didn't have one. And, you know, I've only been riding dirt bikes for about a year, so... I'm definitely gonna get in a crash sometime. Don't you want to have something nice to whack your head on? And that is everything that I've done to this bike. Oh, I also put on this hour meter. So this one came off of one of those motorized bicycles back there. One of those. I put it onto this, and I put one hour on the bike. And really, the only reason is because I bought this on December 20th, when there was, um, when you could still see dirt. But now there's like seven feet of snow just in our driveway. Nowhere to ride it right now. So I might look into getting a snow bike kit for this. Or um, on my next bike, you know, as I save up, I'll probably get a WR450. Put a snow bike kit on one of those. Yep, this is the whole YZ250. If you guys think that snow bike kits are good for this type of bike, go ahead and tell me. Because I, I didn't know if it would be as good for one of these or if it would be more worth it to get like a fuel injected 450 to put a snow bike kit on. Hopefully I'll have enough cash to get one of those. I wish there was some way for you guys to support this channel. I don't know if YouTube lets you donate or anything, but the best way you can is by leaving a like, commenting something, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and check out a couple of the videos. As for now, my main way that I'm making money is buying bikes for 100 bucks, picking up bikes for free, restoring them, and selling them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's what I've done to the YC250. See you next time.